Hey guys, welcome to my video. So in this video, I've got to pull this flex boss off the wall and put a new one on. This is no longer recognizing my battery, so I have no backup power. Currently, this is just running the grid right through the unit powering the garage, and I have no more backup power to the house. And we actually have a pretty intense storm headed this way. It's probably going to start in a few hours, so I should be able to get the new one up on the wall. Even if the power goes out during the process, I can still get the new one up and running and feed power into my house for backup. So the problem kind of started in a little bit in November. I was actually trenching and I dug a trench out with my mini excavator to my temporary solar array that I had to set back up because I had taken down some trees in order to have it in the ideal location that I want. As soon as I got everything hooked up, fired the unit back on, no longer recognized my battery, didn't see any voltage. Signature Solar had me do to test is they had me test the voltage, had me test the ohms between the battery terminals and there were zero ohms. So they determined that the DC control board was bad. Well, they didn't exactly tell me what was wrong with it. I'm just assuming throughout the forums that the DC controller on their first productions, some of them have gone bad. The only thing that we can do is take this off the wall and put a new one up and send this back to get repaired or have that module replaced. I am going to pretty much shut down the power in this garage uh, via, I have a disconnect right here that the grid comes in here and then runs into the flex boss. Flex boss runs into this panel here, which powers the garage. And then I have a manual transfer switch in the house. There's a 30 amp running from here into the house. And that's more than enough to run my lights. I can even cook some food on my toaster oven and keep my furnace and my well going. I need to swap this out. That storm is coming pretty fast. We're gonna get started. So it is gonna get a little dark in here because I need to sever the connection to the grid via my disconnect. So that's it, lights are out, heat's off. I am gonna test to make sure that there is no more incoming power. And then I need to disconnect all of these wires, my batteries, my line in, my line out, communications, everything. Currently you can hear a beep and that is from my UPS for my internet. So how I have this hooked up because, well, let me get rid of that beeping. So the way I have this hooked up is I do not use, I'm not using the, the grid boss. So I do not have a big transfer switch that's gonna switch the power over for me. So there is a little bit of a delay because there's no uh, big transfer switch inside this unit. That's why they were able to sell it for a great price. And basically there's a bit of a delay, probably a couple minutes for this to switch over to grid mode because I do use it to back feed my house so I could save money on electricity. But that's another video that I'll have to produce. But basically, there's a delay. So I use UPSs on all of my internet nodes, they call them. And then that way, my internet stays up and running, even though the power is down. And then that way, if I need to make any adjustments on anything, I can go into settings and do that. I better get started because it's going to be a long process to pull all this stuff down. So I'm gonna turn off the battery, I'm gonna hit my disconnect, and I'm actually gonna turn off all my server rack batteries because they're all from different companies. I have them wired as a lead acid battery, but I'm gonna pull this down and then uh, put the new one up and get everything up and running. Okay, as you can see, I've got everything removed. Now my knockouts, I'm gonna copy them the same on the new unit. I've also got the side bracket here off that goes there that levels the unit. So the only thing left to do is to lift this big beast off the wall. All right, ah, do a bit of stretching. So I think this is 88 pounds and it's up on the wall. So pretty much just gonna bear hug it and walk it over to where I can lay it on the ground. I gotta package it back up in the box that the new one came in and send it back. Probably shouldn't have the camera on because that's typically when things go wrong. Hopefully I don't drop it. Good so far. I'm just gonna reuse the same bracket. I'm gonna take a look and make sure it's the same, but I'm not gonna unbolt this and bolt the new one on if they're the exact same. So the only differences I see is that the new one is gray and the old one is black. But they're the exact same size. Yeah, everything's the exact same. So I'm just gonna leave that one up and send this back with the damaged one. 
Okay. Need one of those power carts. But how often do I swap these out? Not very often. Okay, so flash forward into the future and I'm done all my final hookups. It's going to be time to pre-charge the capacitors inside the unit, flick everything on, connect the dongle, and then also do all my settings for my setup. So this wasn't meant to be a step-by-step. -step. I'm kind of in a rush getting ahead of the storm. Well, as you know, it's, it's difficult kind of doing a step-by-step -step guide when you're rushing and you're starting to run out of light and you're stringing stuff together. But I do have something to show you my mistake just to show you how powerful these batteries are 48 or well 51.2 volt batteries so i have i have these epoch batteries sitting here and the last thing i had done was charge them up they've been sitting for a while so i wanted to charge them and i had left them all on and these are exposed terminals so as you can see the terminals burnt there and it's burnt here and what I had done was I had this LED light that I was going to plug into the Blue Eddy in order to get some light here. And I dropped this right onto the contactors for that battery. And I mean, you can see what it's done here. That's aluminum. And it just, like, and it was just a flash. And it was enough to just torch right through that aluminum like nothing. So word to the wise, make sure that you are being safe with your batteries and a high voltage. But anyways, my mistake. So I have everything hooked up. Uh, a couple minor things I'm gonna change later. Um, something that was hard was getting the battery cables back in because it's stranded and it's not like a lug. You just jam it up, tighten it. So you can see some of the strands didn't make it in there and the positive is a little bit worse. But I mean, that's probably the equivalent to like a 22 gauge wire that didn't make it in. So there's still lots of meat up in there to get a good electrical connection. And I'm not worried about it overheating. So I got the PV plugged back in. I've got my grid and load plugged in. So next, I am going to pre-charge the resistors and get everything going. Now for me to pre-charge my resistors, I uh, come over to my battery bank here. So this here is a switch that I have to turn on and off. Right now it's in the off position. So if I hold, oh, get that on camera. If I hold this resistor between those two points, that's gonna create the circuit. And all this is is 10 watt, 10 ohm. So I'm just gonna create the circuit there. That's gonna slowly pre-charge the resistors inside the flex boss and hopefully everything turns on okay. And I'm gonna be ready at the switch because as soon as I start to see that dongle light up, flick the switch on to get full power because I don't wanna govern that at 10 watts. Like that's gonna need more than 10 watts to start up, but just to get the capacitors going. Okay, now, oh, I gotta turn that back off and start again. My bad. Okay, so this is in the off position. I didn't turn the breaker on in the EG4. Ah, rookie, rookie, rookie move. Okay, let's try this again. That's probably why I wasn't seeing what I was anticipating. Holding, I see lights. Okay, I'm fully on. Okay, I see lights blinking. Now I do have a solid warning light though. That's probably because there's no grid. I'm not gonna turn the grid on just yet. I mean, my lights and everything should be coming back on. I just had a mini heart attack. I hooked everything up, turned everything on, nothing was happening. And I was like, oh, great. And then I connected through Bluetooth to the dongle and it told me that there was zero battery voltage. And I was like, oh my God, they sent me a bad unit because that's what was going on with the other unit, was I wasn't seeing voltage. But then when I went on here and I changed it from lithium to lead acid, 
now all the lights are on and it's working. So now I can go through and configure my settings. So a little mini heart attack. I'm gonna make another video on how I've configured my, my Flex Boss and all that. But for now, I need to get all the settings set, get everything running, and then have backup power because the storm is coming. It's hitting my parents now, it's hitting me next. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll make some more videos hopefully very soon and we'll see you again, bye.